Okay, for today's recipe, we're just going to need the flay, so I'm going to flay these guys up real quick. Uh, this is 14 inch, and this is 12 inch. So let me hack these up, and we can get going. Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing some tempera fillets and some veggies for part of our recipe. So I'm just using some regular Kikkoman tempera. I also use their um, panko's for different types when I just do uh, fried fish. But so I've got the batter all set up. I'm going to just dip those in. I've got the frying pan on the barbecue, and then we can go to stage three, I guess. Test our oil. Yeah, it's sizzling. So, start with the fish. Get it fried up. Okay, the first batch looks ready. Nice and crispy. Do some veggies now. Okay, we've got all the ingredients all set up. Uh, I basically have some sushi rice. Uh, it's basically specialty actual sushi rice. And then uh, once that's cooked, use some uh, rice vinegar, salt, sugar. I actually bought a bottle of uh, sushi seasoning that had it all in one. So I just had to sprinkle it on there. And uh, sticky, but not mushy, not dry. So all good there. Then uh, over here we've got all the uh, tempera stuff that I did, the fish, some yellow squash, and some green beans. I'm just using the fish for the, the snapper sushi. So over here we've got the snapper, one of the flays, and then I cut it into long strips, so that'll go in the sushi very well. Uh, did some strips of cucumbers, seedless cucumbers, have some avocados. Uh, this will be on the side, which will be some sliced ginger. And then I got some toasted sesame seeds to uh, sprinkle on one of them. So that's basically it. So now I just need to assemble it, roll it, and get going. Um, this is just some Nordy sheets I bought. So let's get assembling. All right, I've got some water here. Just gonna damper the, dampen the fingertips so the rice doesn't stick. And we're just going to spread this out evenly.
Okay, that's all set. Then we can start adding our ingredients. So I'm going to put a little bit of the sliced cucumber. There. Got our avocado. Then we've got our tempura battered fish. Okay. Now we can get the rolling here very carefully. Finish it off. Looks pretty good. We're just going to do a one last compacting set there. Okay. One log is done. Okay, this one we're going to do a little bit differently. This is a little bit smaller piece because it's the last one I've got. I should have picked up some more, but it will do. Actually, it kind of mixes just about right because I didn't have a lot of rice. All the way across there. Okay, that's sticking nicely. And this is the reason why the uh, plastic wrap over. Just like that. This one I could pack a little bit heavier. There's our fish. fish there, cucumbers, and of course our avocados. All right, actually, I should have moved it back. There we go. And then we're going to just start rolling like we did before. Just get it over, tighten it up. And continue to roll. Keep on rolling. And finally finish it off. Okay. A little bit sticking out there. Okay, there we got our two snapper ushi snapushi uh, rolls there. So let me go ahead and plate those up. Okay, let's go ahead and cut these up. I'm gonna wet my fingers a little bit. Clean up these ends.
Okay. All right, and then for this one, I actually forgot to put the sesame seeds, so I want to hit them last here. That'll work. See there. So let me plate the final prep here. Alrighty, this is the completed dish here. This is my snapushi dish, which is snapper sushi. Uh, basically, two different kinds of sushi. Uh, they both both have the same pretty much ingredients. So it's a mangrove snapper fillet tempura battered fried, and cut into fine strips. Then also have avocado and cucumber also diced. Then I uh, added to that some tempura battered green beans and the same with some yellow squash. This is just some of the leftover mango snapper filet there with some nori on top. And then over here is a little dipping stuff. I've got the um, sliced ginger, some wasabi, soy sauce, and then the extra cucumber and uh, avocado there to go with it. So anyways, that's my dinner. Well, actually that's my lunch because it's the next day. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.